Okay, thanks for that, Wendy. I'm now going to show you uh, some of the areas on the robot where you can concentrate on cleaning that will help with back to scan, cell count, and also the transfer of bacteria from cow to cow. So, with the robot out of operation, go to the test menu, service position 3, move the arm across, and then under mothership it comes, we'll slacken the teeth up. Four, four. That will give you great access so you can clean the liners, the teeth cups, you can check the twin tubes and ropes whilst you're there, but also clean the foot plates as well. One area it's important to concentrate on is the underside of this cover. That wipes the top of the teeth cups before every cow when it goes to do the pre-treatment, and so it's important that that's clean, it's one area that bacteria can be transferred. And also the brushes, these need to be disinfected properly. These nozzles here are adjustable, and what we want to do is make sure that the brush disinfectant that's coming out of them is hitting the brushes and we're not wasting too much chemical off the side. The adjustment is on two bolts here. And if you go to the test menu and clean in under pre-treatment, you can switch on the brush cleaning. And you can see on this robot that the brush chemical is covering the entire brush so we're not losing any off the side. We recommend the leather foam for cleaning the robots because it's designed for cleaning the robots. You spray it on, leave it 10 minutes, Give it a brush and then rinse it off with a volume washer. A volume washer is much better than a pressure washer. We've got sensitive electronics, both on the arm and up underneath the arm. Electrical connections on the brush motor, which are all prone to water ingress if they're cleaned incorrectly. So a volume washer is ideal. You can also clean anything up to the level of the top of the milk jar using a volume washer, although you should be careful around the milk pump if you've got an A5, A4 is no problem at all. 